So here we have an integration. It's a cosine that's being integrated. Let's have a look at uh, just a simple cosine integration. That would give us sine x plus c. Now you can always check integrations by differentiating back. If we differentiate sine x, we get cos x. And differentiating a constant, that disappears. If we have, for instance, cos 4x, say, then we don't get sine 4x plus c, because if we differentiate back, differentiating sine 4x will give us cos 4x, but there'll be a times 4 from the chain rule. By differentiating the 4x, you'll get a 4. Um, we would need to divide by that so it cancels the times 4 out. So integrating cos 4x, you'll get sine 4x over 4. Similarly, if you integrate cosine of 4x plus 1, you will have to divide by that 4. And you'll track the thing back by differentiating the right-hand side. Differentiate sine 4x plus 1, you get cos 4x plus 1 times 4 by the chain rule, which cancels that 4 down there. If we've got an 8 at the front, it just stays there. So it'll be 8 times that. So we've really almost completed that integration. Let's go back over it. So it'll be 8 times, integrate a sine, a cosine, you get a sine. If it's a sine of 4x plus 1, we'll need to divide by the 4 plus a constant. Now we can cancel 4 and 4 here. So we get two lots of sine 4x plus 1 plus c as our final answer.